Welcome, welcome everyone. This is the Ministerial Press Conference following the closed Ministerial Session. If you could please take your seats. There are reserved seats for Ministers in the first row if you want to attend. Thank you for being here. This comes in two parts. We have with us uh, Secretary of State for Transport of the UK, Mark Harper, uh, who will make a statement uh, for the Presidency and the two Vice Presidency countries that we have at ITF, uh, namely Lithuania, Minister Skordis, and Chile, M Minister Munoz. And I immediately hand over to uh, Secretary Harper. The floor is yours. Right. Um, good morning. As the UK hands over the ITF presidency, we do so not just with pride at what the ITF has achieved over the past 12 months, but also a commitment to continue championing the values and aims of this vital organisation. But sadly, those values and aims are not shared by all. We continue to see parts of Ukraine laid waste by Putin's illegal war. Critical infrastructure that forms the central nervous system of Ukraine, from transport to energy, has been systematically targeted, with at least 50 rail bridges damaged and 200 rail staff killed due to Russia's unprovoked and premeditated aggression. Throughout, the UK has been steadfast in its support for Ukraine, with further military aid confirmed during President Zelensky's recent visit to the United Kingdom, where he met with the Prime Minister. In addition, the UK has committed £10 million in worth of materials, tools and specialist equipment to help repair rail infrastructure and facilitate increased exports of grain from Ukraine. This financial package was developed alongside Ukrainian railways to ensure it met those, their most pressing needs, including bridge and tunnel lining, critical repair equipment, as well as British expertise to help train Ukrainian rail engineers. And with the World Bank, as of March this year, estimating the cost of reconstruction in Ukraine at almost 400 billion euros, the UK is very proud to host the Ukraine Recovery Conference next month in London to mobilise international support in restoring Ukraine's economy and to facilitate private sector engagement in the wider reconstruction. Uh, today's Joint Presidency's statement from the UK, Lithuania and Chile shows Ukraine doesn't stand alone. We believe this statement will be supported by many ITF members who also signed last year's call to action strongly condemning Russia's aggression. Recent events have also given us the opportunity to test whether the rules of the ITF remain fit for purpose. There are limits to the measures we can take as ITF members against those that perpetrate wars of aggression. If the ITF is to remain a crucial forum through which we can show solidarity with Ukraine, a review of those rules is necessary. Those views, I know, are shared by Lithuania, as it assumes the mantle of the 2023-2024 presidency of the ITF. It can expect the full support of the United Kingdom, as we all remain ready and willing to support our Ukrainian friends and allies as they defend their freedom. And copies of the statement on behalf of the presidency and the two vice presidents will be made available to you uh, as soon as possible. Um, we will now uh, be joined by the uh, Secretary General. Um, I will just before he joins us, does anyone wish to ask any questions about the first part um, of this session on the statement that I have made? We'll take those first before uh, young Tai Kim joins us. If anyone's got any questions, otherwise we will proceed. No? Okay, the Secretary General will join us and then we will continue the press conference. Thank you very much, Secretary Harper. Um, and I know that Young Tay is on his way to join us together with the uh, ministers of Brazil, uh, Minister of Brazil and the Vice Minister of Costa Rica, um, who will be speaking here for the first time as members of ITF. Just hang on 30 seconds.
those who want to join us, please take a seat so we can start. This is the second part of the uh, Ministerial Press Conference. Uh, Secretary Harper will now be reporting on the proceedings. And uh, welcome to new members. Secretary Harper. Thank you very much. Um, I have just finished chairing the Council of Ministers meeting. We announced uh, and welcomed both Brazil and Costa Rica as the newest members of the ITF, and we look forward to their participation in the forum. We also announced Azerbaijan will hold the ITF presidency in 2025, 2026, and we look forward to their time as the presidency. The Secretary General of the ITF, Young Tai Kim, provided an update on the work and activities of the International Transport Forum. Um, a discussion was held by ministers on the revision of the ITF general rules, and we are hopeful that amendments can be proposed at the 2024 Council of Ministers meeting under the presidency of Lithuania. Uh, we, uh, the European member countries duly noted the full implementation of the quality charter for road haulage operations under the ECMT multilateral quota system in 42 European member countries of the ITF, fostering the quality of international road haulage in a wider Europe. We welcome the agreement of member countries to allocate significant number of additional quotas to Ukraine to help cope with trade and transport disruptions in the current geopolitical situation, as well as to neighbouring Moldova. European ministers agreed to their statement on further development of the ECMT multilateral quota, acknowledging the value of the system in promoting cleaner and safer road transport in Europe, in facilitating trade and in mitigating recent challenges at the geopolitical level. And I'm now going to hand over to the new ministers from Brazil and Costa Rica, um, a Brazilian colleague first, then Costa Rica, uh, and then the Secretary General will wrap up. And there will be consecutive translation for Ms. Uh, for you. No. Today is a landmark for the future of uh, our country transport sector. Brazil is back to the world with the doors open to dialogue and willing to make a difference in a construction of an agenda that promotes the economic and social change the planet needs. Our membership to the ITF has at this moment a great importance because of the isolation the country faced in the last four years. With the President Lula, this has changed. Brazil is back. In honor of the Brazilian people, now I'm going to speak in Portuguese. Vivemos um momento de resgate dos nossos laços com as nações para pensarmos juntos em como ampliar as nossas potencialidades, garantindo dignidade, justiça social, E qualidade de vida para as pessoas. We, we live a new moment of rescue of our ties to the nations, to think together and how to widen our potentialities, guaranteeing dignity, social justice and life quality to everybody. Os caminhos se abrem para todos nós. É, os caminhos que se abrem para todos nós precisam ser desbravados com olhos voltados para o meio ambiente, o cuidado com as pessoas, principalmente os que mais precisam e o enfrentamento às desigualdades. The paths that are open to us need to be explored with eyes facing the environment, caring for people, especially the most vulnerable, and facing inequality. Precisamos para isso otimizar recursos e somar esforços na definição de projetos estratégicos em regiões e continentes inteiros. We need for that to optimize resources and add strengths in defining and identifying strategic projects in regions and continents. Literalmente, precisamos convergir os nossos caminhos. Literally, we need to converge our paths. Especificamente na América do Sul, temos a expectativa de avançar nessa proposta, defendida pelo Brasil recentemente na reunião do ITF na Argentina, em abril. Specifically for South America, we have the expectation to advance along this road, which is a position Brazil defended recently at an ITF meeting in April in Argentina. Visamos desenvolver um plano integrado de logística, levando em consideração as nossas potencialidades para promover a competitividade na região. Temos condições e determinação. 
we are aiming for developing an integrated logistic plan, uh, taking into consideration our potentialities to promote competitiveness in region. We have the conditions and the resolve. Temos condições de determinação para estabelecer novos parâmetros e subir de patamar após um verdadeiro apagão de recursos que colocou o Brasil entre os países que menos investem no setor. O presidente Lula garantiu, né, apenas para esse ano, o equivalente a 4 bilhões de euros para investimentos em infraestrutura de transportes. We have the condition and the resolve to set new parameters and to bring up our game. After a period where we suffered with lack of resources that put Brazil among those countries which less, less the least invested in this sector, President Lula has guaranteed only for this year the equivalent to 4 billion euros for transport infrastructure. É, faremos nesse primeiro ano concessões é, de rodovias à iniciativa privada, somando mais de 15 bilhões de euros em investimentos. This first year of uh, government, we're opening for, for uh, road concessions to private initiative, adding more than 15 billion euros in investments. Nosso Plano Nacional de Logística prevê até 2035 a expansão contínua do transporte ferroviário e hidroviário de cargas. Vamos, com isso, diminuir gradativamente o tráfego de caminhões nas estradas, reduzindo as emissões de carbono na atmosfera. Our national logistic plan uh, expects until 2035 the, expen the continuous expansion of our rail network and uh, of waterways for cargo. Uh, we are with this, uh, these goals gradually diminish uh, truck uh, traffic in our roads and therefore reducing carbon emissions in the atmosphere. Sabemos que os desafios são grandes, mas acreditamos que é com diálogo e união entre os países que vamos construir soluções conjuntas para a infraestrutura de transportes que gere prosperidade com sustentabilidade ambiental e equidade social, que juntos avancemos para um planeta onde não exista barreiras intransponíveis nem distâncias insuperáveis. We know the challenges are big, but we believe that with dialogue and union among countries, we can build joint solutions for transport infrastructure that can generate prosperity with environmental sustainability and social equality, that we together can move forward to a planet where there are no insurmountable barriers nor insuperable distances. To the end, in English again, after technical words, I want to talk about peace and love. We Brazilians are looking for a date a date with progress, a date with a green world, a date with people, happy people on planet Earth, a date with no wars. Today, our date is with ITF. And as I said, we are so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister Fiyu, for those very kind words. And I hand over to uh, the Vice Minister of Costa Rica, Mr. Seldon Leiva. Uh, on behalf of the Costa Rican government and Costa Rican people, thank you very much to all. Uh, joining the ITF as members represent a solid support for our nation and for the efforts we make to boost economic development of Costa Rica with better infrastructure and transportation routes by air, sea and land. Proper infrastructure is essential for productivity and growth. It helps individuals in underdeveloped areas to get connected to core economic activities, though allowing them to access additional productive opportunities. I'm very pleased that we now belong to this forum because I'm sure that through dialogue, technical cooperation, and the enrichment of knowledge, we will be able to achieve the goals that we had set for ourselves and for our nation. Thank you very much and vielen Dank. Thank you very much, Mr. Sergeant Leva. And may I now invite the Secretary General of the ITF to wrap us up. Um, we are a little bit pressed for time, so maybe we won't be able to take questions. Let's see what the Secretary General has to say. Okay, uh, thank you. Benvindo, bienvenido. Thank you. Número de miembro 65 y 66. Felicitades. So, I'm very happy. I'm very happy to have this two new uh, countries from Latin America. And since my arri arrival, I'm really uh, 
making a great effort to invite more countries from outside of Europe to, to make more balanced approach in the ITF community. We have uh, you know, European countries, 44 European countries, founding father of the ITF. And uh, they already opened the door in 2006 to make this platform more globalized. So uh, what, what I'm doing and what ITF Secretariat and ITF community are, is doing is totally in line with the spirit of that founding fathers from Europe. And now uh, I'm very happy to see this kind of concrete fruits uh, every, every year. So especially the Brazil uh, who, has, who was with us as observer for many years already, they were greatly contributing to our work and activities. So we knew already each other very well. In Costa Rica also, we uh, spent uh, already three years to, to uh, invite them uh, to be an official uh, the member of ITF. So it's a very great day and I really feel uh, proud and happy and uh, humble to say uh, welcome uh, to ITF community again. And taking this opportunity also, this is a great day, uh, the change of our leadership in ITF community and I really appreciate uh, the great uh, the work done by uh, Mr. Harper and uh, with his team and the UK presidency for the past one year which was not easy at all. And uh, still we are in a very difficult situation, but I have very uh, great hope for Lithuania, who is taking over today. And so uh, Minister Skodis, uh, we have maintained also a very good relationship, and I think uh, we will continue our work very, very productively. Also, we have an uh, ambassador to uh, OECD, Lithuanian ambassador to OECD, Lina, who is our daily contact in, in, in France. So um, I think everything is moving smooth, and uh, thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. much, and we have a very short video that we want to show you, and then we'll have to wrap up. I'm sorry, the ministers have to be up there again in a couple of minutes for the ministerial. If you want to ask questions, talk to me. I will try to set something up for you, okay? Video. Thank you for coming <laughs> and congratulations to Lithuania for this wonderful video. <laughs> I, I would now like to invite Secretary Harper and Minister Skodis on the way out to take a quick photo with your flags to mark this occasion. Thank you. <laughs>